This time, I'm going to talk about how to use naive base classification in Python. Let's review what Bayes' theorem is first. Bayes' theorem is a way of finding a probability when we know certain other probabilities. Let's take a look at this formula. Now, we want to calculate the probability of A given B is true. But instead of knowing probability of A given B is true, we know probability of B given A is true, this part, and the independence probability of A and independent probability of B. So with Bayes' theorem, we can write this formula from probability of event B by given A times independent probability of event A divided by probability of event B, we can calculate probability of A given B is true. So what is naive base classification? This is a classification technique based on Bayes' theorem with assumption of independence among predictors. That is saying, if you have several predictors, you assume all those predictors are independent. That is saying, all those features in the class is unrelated to the presence of any other feature. Now, let's use this naive base classification for analyzing the surviving rate of this Titanic tragic. The goal of this model is to make a prediction of survival using passenger ticket fire information. In our data, we have this kind of data. Survived, if it's one, that means survived. If it's zero, means the passenger died. And the class means which class this passenger was in, and the name of the passenger, the sex of the passenger, and the age, and the most important thing, we need this fair information about the ticket of the passenger. So in our data, we can calculate the average ticket price for not survival passengers and our result is $50 and for the survival we can also calculate the average ticket price is $100 now with this information if the new passenger has a ticket with a price $30 so, will this passenger survive, or the passenger cannot survive? With this information, we probably say, okay, because this ticket price is pretty low, so probably this passenger will not survive. But how to make a model to predict if the passenger will survive or not? We can plot all the ticket price along this x-axis and number of tickets in this y-axis. And you can see with survived passenger, we have those data points. Of course, 
because this is all discrete data points. And then if we assume those tickets follow normal distribution, we can fit all those tickets with this curve. And for those not survived passengers, we can use this orange color to plot all the tickets here and then fit with normal distribution. You can see all the not survived tickets got maximum value here and all those survived tickets got maximum value here. So after we fit the data with normal distribution, we can print out all the parameters we got. The fair mean value of the survived, this is about 54. And the standard deviation of survived ticket fare is 75. And the fair mean value of deceased is 23, about here. And the standard deviation of deceased is about 29.67. If we zoom in this part, we can see not survived fit this curve and survived fit this curve. You can see at this point, if you move to the right, that means if you have a higher ticket fare and then most likely you will survive. If lower than this point, most likely they can't survive. So this data point is about 78. That is a borderline between survived and not survived. Okay, now let's go to Python see how can we implement that. First, let's take a look at our data. In our data set, we have passenger ID. I only display five records here. And survived. 0 means they didn't survive, 1 means they survived, and this is class, this is the means it's a third class, this is the first class, and also we have their name, sex, age, etc. And we have fair here. You can see this is 7.25. If you check the class, it's the third class, so it's very cheap. And the second passenger was in the first class, so the price is 71.28. With all those data, we are going to build our model. Okay, after we build our model, you can see we use our training set to train our data and the result shows number of mislabeled points out of the total 357 is 76 so about 78.71% was accurate with our model. With our model, we can calculate survival probability 
is about 42% and uh, no survival probability is about 57.7%. Now let's calculate the parameters if the distribution follows normal distribution. You can see now we got the mean value and the standard deviation of the ticket fare about all those people who survived. Similarly, we will get the mean value and the standard deviation of the ticket fare who deceased in this accident. This is how I analyze Titanic probability of surviving with naive base classification in Python. Please provide your comments and subscribe to my channel. Thank you very much for watching.